let's face it, WrestleMania is supposed to be pressured packed, right? I mean, after all, it's the uh, it's the showcase of the mor- of the immortals, the granddaddy of them all. Remember those intros they would do? The tournament of all tournaments, the World Series. You know, it is all those things, and it's pressure packed, right? It is for a lot of the people on the roster the biggest event of their life. It is their Super Bowl. It's it's one of the biggest things they'll ever ever be a part of these four people on the screen Saturday night one of the biggest matches any of them will ever be a part of they're going to be a part of some big stuff on Sunday as well but let's let's figure out who's got some pressure and maybe let's try to alleviate some of that pressure let's uh let's run out some pep talks for for those who might need it first person we're going to put on notice they got a little pressure they need to step up at WrestleMania, and we're going to help them. And that's a favorite of all of ours, Mr. Sami Zayn. There is immense pressure on Sami. Look, I get it. We all love Sami. Sami's been a great performer for years. And last year was kind of the validation for him. He got to main event a night of WrestleMania, which is not the same thing as main eventing Sunday or a singular main event at WrestleMania. Yeah, we get it. But he had one of the high, hottest storylines in the company, by far. And he got to pay it off at WrestleMania. But this year, he's kind of on that treadmill. You know that treadmill that we've seen Brian Danielson in, that we have seen Eddie Guerrero in? The treadmill of the guy that gets crowned maybe at one year's WrestleMania, and then the next year, they're still in a title match, but it's not the same. Like They're not the guy. They're just doing something focused and important, but all the spotlight isn't on them. But Sami Zayn, he can, he can change a lot of things, including some narratives. But here's why the pressure is really on Sami. Sami's the one. He's going to have to validate the Gunther run. If, and I'm saying this only if, if we are taking the title off of Gunther and shuffling him in to the main event scene, where he belongs, quite frankly, Sami's going to be the one that's going to have to carry the flag for that title. He's going to have to be the real fighting champion. He's going to have to validate all of this. He's going to have to validate all the fandom that everyone has put into him. Now, of everyone on this list, there is no doubt in my mind Sami Zayn can get it done, and he will get it done. He will rise to the occasion. I am just saying, as my take here, he better get it done, because I want him to. So pressure's on, Sami Zayn. Who else is the pressure on? Now, I, for one... Consider myself a fan of Jade Cardkill. I think she's great. Like, is she a great wrestler? No, she's not there yet. Can she become that? Absolutely. Did she improve greatly in her run in AEW? Absolutely. And was it smart that if you're going to feature her on this card, which I think is a good idea, trips to sort of stuff her into a multi-person match, multi-women match, and... Not really bring her out on TV till about a week or two before. I think all of that is smart, but come on, Jade. It's a big moment for you. A big moment to step up. You are surrounded by five absolute pros in this match. Kind of there to hide some of what you maybe be limited. Not only are you in there with five pros, but you're in there with arguably the best WrestleMania performer of the modern era. As your tag team partner in Bianca Belair. Now, Bianca, for all the last couple of years, has been a featured woman in big time matches. This year, she's in a tag match. This year, she's in a match that the big attraction of it is featuring someone new. It's kind of sucked into part of a bigger other feud. This is a little bit of a mess. So, Jade, you got to do this. You got to step up. You got to be impressive. Because if you're not, the way you're being pushed and the way you're being talked about, everyone will turn on you. You don't deserve that. You're better than that. And you're going to prove it. I know you will, Jade. Jimmy and Jay need to prove it. Now, Jimmy and Jay are great. They are accomplished. They are accomplished as a tag team. And in the past years, they have been enhanced as singles wrestlers. In particular, Jay Uso, treated like a major single wrestler on the Raw brand. But this is like 
the B story within the bloodline. Let's face it. The main event story in the bloodline, that's where the focus is. Jimmy and Jay is kind of like Sammy. It's a little 2023. But you're being given a match against each other. Now, there's histories of brother versus brother matches at WrestleManias, right? There's legendary matches like Owen versus Brett. There's the disaster that was Matt versus Jeff. This is your chance. Make Rikishi proud, boys. Have yourselves a great match. Prove it on Saturday. And the last person on Saturday that, quote, needs to bring it is this man right here. You know who I'm talking about. Dwayne Douglas Johnson. If anybody in the entire world has to prove it on Saturday, it's got to show something. It's you, Rocky. It is 100% you. You are the one that's got to get it done. Your presence has caused an elevation of the eyes clearly on this product and on this show. But good God, your inclusion has created such a mess. And it needs to be not for not. You have pissed people off in the back. You've sucked airtime out of, you know, everything. You've done all this stuff. You're doing it in service of these two nights. What's up, Sean? So what do you got to do, Dwayne? Don't weigh this thing down. Don't get hurt. Don't old guy it up. Do not tear an abductor muscle in the middle of the match. Don't do any of those things. Be the rock. The rock is great. And if you get hurt, Rock, just suck it up. You only got to work once a year. You've made YouTube videos of how your leg was torn off your leg or whatever the hell happened to you when you faced John Cena. Okay? Rock, bring it. You are still competing with Triple H. Here's your chance to do it. Show you can put on a badass main event in 2024. I don't think Trips can do it. <laughs> nice fun design. Be the Rock. That's it. Who's got pressure on night two? Well, I think this is fairly simple to start us off. It's not Seth Rollins. It's Drew McIntyre by a mile. Hold on before I spit out that fire take I was about to shoot out there. Hey, right, Drew, you're finally cool. I finally accept you. You're finally not just the domain of wrestling nerds. But for the love of God, Drew trips. This is not a time to have a beat down and get heat. Okay. You're a badass, Drew. Let him be a badass. We don't gotta make it for the old school fans, okay? Drew and Seth, as best you can, Seth. Keep your legs on. I don't want to put any pressure on you, Seth, because your legs might fall off, okay? CM Punk, you will deliver on commentary. Maybe that's the motivation you need, Drew. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. And as is being pointed out in the chat, bring it so you can sign your big deal, okay? I'm tired of hearing about your contract. Be the chosen one, Drew. I don't care who chose you. Just be the chosen one. Got that, Drew? Thanks. Move it along on night two. Night two doesn't have as many prove -its. Okay, Bailey. You got to prove it here. Now, Bailey's awesome. And Bailey has been awesome for many years. But let's face it, Bailey. You've always been the fourth horsewoman. And you've taken pride in that. But you always deliver at the end. You might have been the fourth horsewoman in NXT. But you stood tall in like the best match that maybe that promotion ever had. Definitely the most influential match that that promotion ever had. That was you. And you're always pushed to the side. You've defended your title at WrestleMania in a multi-person match. I mean, honestly, women don't get a lot of singles opportunities. And this storyline has been built forever. Bailey, you were a heel for like a thousand years. You're one of like the most lovable people in the world the way you present yourself. But you've been a heel for a lot of years. No pouting on this one, Bailey. Show Mercedes where the money's really at. Okay. Let's get to the person with the absolute most pressure to prove it. This weekend, but on Saturday. Nope. I'm not going to say Cody. You can. That's a good. It's not like the dude has no pressure on him, but I'm not going to say Cody. This is the guy with the most pressure this weekend. It's trips. It's not LA night. It's trips. I agree with you, Azan. Cody, Roman, you are two grown-ass men, two professionals. You had a great match last year. I'm sure you'll deliver this year. It's trips. 
this is all on you. You're going around in interviews saying how, well, we do things differently back now or whatever the hell you're saying. That doesn't make any sense. And you can run your big nose about it all day long. But the scar tissue of a generation of wrestling fans is built on two things. Bad Vince McMahon booking decisions and most of those decisions including putting you over the top. But you've cut, you came down to NXT, right? You came in to run an NXT. And all us smarks loved you, Trips. We accepted you. We embraced you. Vince half-ass goes away a couple years ago. Product gets better. Vince is really, really gone now. Product still pretty solid. Trips, you've proven in the modern time you're probably the best booker that's in a major, major promotion at the moment. This is all on you. You got a habit, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. You got a habit of some lame WrestleMania main events tied to you. This is your chance at redemption. Do not screw this up. Maybe it's not the right story to have. Book Cody to win the freaking match. Finish the story. Play off the bloodline storyline. Build more with Rock and Roman. Don't screw this up. Pace the show correctly. Make this your actual WrestleMania. We actually believe the old man is gone now. Make this your WrestleMania.